guys uh, welcome to my channel the aquaman uh, today's video is going to be about a uh, passage planning and uh, i will try to divide uh, the whole passage plan into few videos so i'll stop the music and let's get started so passage planning as you all know a passage planning has four pillars called appraisal planning execution and monitoring so i'll just explain uh, these four pillars uh, as briefly as i can uh, to at least give you an idea what they are first one appraisal appraisal means gathering of all the information required for the intended passage second one the second one is called planning and by planning we mean that laying out the route on charts uh, with all the available information which we have gathered in the appraisal part so you have gathered all your information you have laid out your route according to the information which you have so now once you start your voyage your passage planning part goes into the third one called execution execution means executing the plan reviewing the plan and changing if required and the fourth part of the passage planning is called monitoring uh, we do monitoring of the passage plan while it is under execution uh, so let's uh, start with the appraisal part uh, let's say you are at a port uh, doing uh, loading discharging it can be anything and the master comes to you and says that uh, we have a proceeding instruction for port xyz so uh, the first question which should come to a second mate's mind is that uh, uh, what is my draft so the deepest one uh, so that i can from the port uh, depart safely to the open sea second question which should come to a uh, second mate's mind is what is the distance for the port xyz so for this distance either the second mate can uh, do is uh, look for a previous voyage which he has done to get a reference uh, as i said appraisal means gathering of information so it is just an information uh, not the actual thing uh, so for reference yes he can uh, check out his previous uh, plans the vessel has done for the port xyz or uh, what he can do is he can uh, draw a rough route on his exdes once that is done uh, the next thing which is required is eta to the port xyz to calculate this eta uh, we also need speed uh, because we as we know speed equals to distance upon time so for the time it's distance upon speed so we get the distance uh, we know the speed at which we, we are supposed to uh, cover up this distance so we will get the hours i'll make a separate video to calculate the eta uh, very soon so once we uh, so all these four questions are answered the one thing we should also consider is do we have sufficient fuel for the port uh, for this voyage so for that uh, we need to consult the engineers uh, we would give, give them a distance uh, we would give them a speed uh, at which we plan to do it and uh, they will calculate and let you know that uh, do we have sufficient fuel for it or not if we have uh, well and good if we don't then we do have to make a detour or a rendezvous to a bunker port so we have answered a few basic questions uh, now i will tell you the books which we need to refer the first one is ocean passages of the world uh, which is uh, np136 uh, this book what it does is it will tell you uh, uh, it will give you a general sense of direction to which you should proceed uh, like if you have you always have, have an option to either to go easterly or to westerly uh, but which one would make a better sense uh, in the way of a distance uh, this book will let you know uh, so this book uh, it would provide you a route recommendation and uh, on the recommended route uh, what will be the distance so this will also help a second mate to get an approximate distance uh, for his passage for this book uh, it's very simple you have to go to the index page uh, and in index page uh, look for the chapter uh, uh, relevant to your sea area and um, from that you just uh, look for the best uh, uh, available uh, route uh, which you have or which is applicable to your voyage and there you have uh, the distance and the recommended direction for the voyage which you should refer to is called uh, ships routing and this book what it does is it improves the safety of navigation in converging areas uh, by converging areas i mean uh, the areas where the land masses converge and you approach the end of open sea uh, so and it also tells you uh, traffic density uh, it uh, helps you with that uh, especially like uh, traffic separation scheme uh, it gives you recommendations on that so this book has several parts from alpha to hotel uh, and there is no shortcut to uh, uh, for uh, re for referring this uh, book you just have to dig up all the information uh, from all the uh, parts because each part gives you a different uh, uh, information of the uh, area 
two for your passage planning appraisal uh, the third thing which you require is ENCs uh, or charts um, the ENC or charts would give you information of uh, uh, navigation hazard uh, navigational hazards and uh, uh, to draw your uh, route on the chart so what you should make sure that if you have charts they are to be updated and they are to be of the latest edition and uh, ENCs if you have uh, they are to be uh, updated and corrected and all the charts should be available on board so the ocean passages of the world will tell you about the ocean ocean passages um, the ship's routing will tell you the converging uh, areas uh, it will tell you about uh, that and uh, now what what uh, lies ahead of is is local waters so for that uh, the fourth thing which you need is a sailing direction for pilots uh, it will give you information of uh, local waterways and um, coastal uh, coastal information uh, inshore information and offshore uh, uh, area information it will give um, basically uh, any area near port or land um, it will give you information about that so uh, to refer to this book uh, you if you have a hard copy or a soft copy um, you see the general index page uh, you select your area uh, which uh, area you are on uh, depending on the area uh, you can select your ENP and from that ENP index page uh, you can look up for your particular port and uh, you can refer to the particular section and you will get the information which is required the next book is called Admiralty list of radio signal uh, this is a six volume book uh, starting from NP 282 uh, at to NP 286 uh, these six publications are all about uh, communication and uh, basically the communication would be of uh, pilot services, uh, reporting points and uh, GMDSS and uh, then maritime safety information services. Uh, uh, what else I can think of? I can think of uh, nav area coordinator, nav tech stations, um, uh, times for broadcasting, navigational warnings, uh, uh, legal times, radio times, uh, signals, uh, electronic position fixing. So uh, this ALRS gives you all the uh, details uh, regarding uh, communication. Uh, we use uh, volume 6 uh, particularly to get uh, the reporting points uh, for the countries like uh, uh, INSAR, INSPIRES, uh, JASREP, uh, then uh, COPREP and other reporting areas are there. Uh, I'll just put a picture for that also. And uh, volume 2 gives us uh, legal times uh, then which helps us to uh, know the daylight saving times as well. A uh, book which we have is a guide to port entry. And uh, we used to have uh, uh, we used to have uh, huge books of this, but nowadays uh, they they are supplied in a pen drive, uh, which is named as IHS Port and Terminal Guide, uh, which is a lot compact and can be referred easily. You just have to type uh, the port's name, and uh, you will get an information uh, to that. And you have to go through all the information. Uh, the next information which you uh, will be needing is what uh, does your company wants in your passage plan um it can uh, like uh, it it can be uh, uh the ukc policy or minimum distance from land or it can be how much uh, uh, distance uh, you are supposed to maintain from uh, other vessels and so basically they will mention all this in their sms manuals and they would have a particular section i as in my company i know about my company they have a particular section uh, just for passage planning or navigation so all the information which i require related to navigation i would refer to my company's sms manual there other publications are att admiralty tide tables all admiralty list of lights uh, mariner's handbook and tidal stream atlases and besides that uh, you need a routing chart uh, which should be for your area which you are trading and it should be of the current month uh, then there should be a passage planning chart uh, load line charts uh, maritime security charts uh, international uh, navigating limits uh, chart in addition to that uh, there are what you would information you would require is notices and updates uh, these notices and updates would be of uh, everything which you have uh, which i have told you uh, till now it can be a company circular or it can be a regulation update or it can be a port circular uh, which would tell you that there are few restrictions or a few a few um, safety parameters which needs to be followed and then there are a notice to mariners uh, weekly editions and then uh, there are navigational warnings uh, temporary and preliminary uh, warnings and uh, sorry notices and then there are local notices a uh, local port information so next what happens is weather routing in this what happens owner charters or the managers they will subscribe to a facility uh, for weather forecast and they will give you a 
recommended route uh, which can be followed uh, by the uh, ship's crew and if deviating from them uh, you should have a valid reason for that uh, it is basically to improve uh, the efficiency of the vessel and uh, avoid any uh, damages to the vessel due to weather uh, then uh, next comes up you need to know that uh, if you are uh, uh, changing the region of Isla Boyd system uh, there are two system A and B so you have to uh, keep an eye on it I'll put up a picture for that you can see uh, that as well uh, then there can be a speed restriction or which one such instance I can think of is in Singapore Straits um, a few vessels are restricted to do um, more speed and they are they have been specifically told that uh, you are supposed to do only this speed then what all additional information uh, you would need is uh, any draft restrictions you have like uh, air draft or UKC required and, and or uh, squat uh, which your vessel will experience uh, during the different uh, legs of the voyage so you do need to know your squat as well uh, then you need to know the, uh, the state status of your machineries uh, in this what happens is basically the engineers will uh, basically the chief engineer will uh, tell you that if uh, there are some limitations imposed uh, on use of uh, any particular machinery um, so that you are well prepared for any emergency uh, like for example uh, if some generator is uh, under maintenance uh, so that uh, he'll tell you that he cannot give some extra power uh, to you in uh, so you have to give a notice uh, to them so similarly the status of machinery any limitation or defect uh, will be uh, should be taken care of and uh, yes and you sh you should know the ship's maneuvering characteristics uh, maneuvering characteristics will help you in cases of emergency uh, the emergency can be a man overboard or it can be a collision con uh, collision situation uh, in which uh, you know that uh, when your vessel uh, turns how much uh, advance uh, transfer it will do uh, what will be this uh, condition and how it will behave uh, next thing you need to know is uh, time zones or uh, maintaining the ship's time um, you should uh, be aware of or you should make a plan uh, that uh, after so and so interval uh, we'll be changing the ship's time then you need security related data uh, which are uh, security charts which I have already mentioned and uh, ship security plan uh, which is there with the chief officer and master then we look up uh, we look at the environmental aspect of uh, passage planning uh, environmental aspect uh, what all uh, you can think of or I can think of is uh, ballast water management uh, ECA area uh, PSSA area Marpole areas and or some particular uh, uh, national uh, or regional requirements uh, in addition to that uh, we need to know that the port uh, does have some re reception facilities for garbage or not so that we can uh, uh, manage our garbage also so uh, all these uh, environmental aspects are self-explanatory uh, for the Marpole areas you if you refer to the Marpole uh, book uh, you will get the areas and similarly those areas can be marked on the user map and uh, ECA area PSSA area also can be done in a similar way uh, then we need to think about contingencies in contingency part um, we would uh, do port of refuge uh, port of refuge would be for if for any case we need to deviate from our route and to proceed to a different uh, port for it could be maintenance or it could be a threat or threat to someone's life uh, the crew's life uh, then other thing would be emergency response uh, plan uh, on in our company we have emergency response services if we are in immediate danger um, as we uh, contact them and they assist us uh, what to do because they have all the data which is being sent uh, prior departure from the port Oof. then uh, passage plan amendments and notifications and reportings to be done or uh, general or operational um, uh, requirements in a passage plan appraisal is you need to know uh, what are the berth requirements uh, what are the bridge manning level requirements uh, strength and stability which will be given by chief mate uh, anti-piracy uh, measures uh, which needs to be taken and most importantly you need to know that you have the flags of the country and the shapes uh, if uh, specifically required and the alphabet alphanumerical flags so I think I've covered uh, most of the point if you feel or you think that any of uh, any point is missing uh, please do mention in the comment section uh, I will make a note of it and please uh, do like and subscribe my channel if you feel uh, that uh, the video has been an informative one to you and uh, do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get a notification for my next video whenever it is up thank you bye bye
be calling 